In 2016, Turkey's government set a shameful record, the most journalists ever imprisoned by a nation in one year, with at least 81 reporters, editors, and producers in jail. This is a crackdown unlike any before. Uh, this is the crackdown that would leave no uh, actual working, surviving media left afterwards. On the night of July 15th, a shocking attempt to oust President Recep Tayyip Erdogan was underway. By morning, it was clear that the attempted coup had failed. The government reasserted its control. Thousands of arrests were made in Turkey's military and civil sectors before the government turned its eye to the news media. The government uh, used this uh, coup attempt as an excuse to eliminate uh, all opposition on many fronts. In the first couple of weeks after the coup attempt alone, uh, we saw at least a hundred media outlets shut down. The arrests and repression of reporters have become routine since the July coup attempt. But journalists' troubles in Turkey began well before that. In March, Turkey's largest circulation newspaper was raided and seized by the government. That was the moment that uh, the government showed they have no uh, uh, scruples about entering a media outlet, taking it in a hostile manner, and then uh, even arresting some of the uh, top editors of that newspaper. The government does not want any critical media existing in the country. What the government wants is an obedient media. And before that, in 2015, a bitter attack on press freedom by the government landed respected columnist and editor John Dundar in prison after his newspaper, Jumhuriyet, published video appearing to show the Turkish military secretly moving arms across the Syrian border. It angered Erdogan personally. Erdogan went on national television and lashed out against John Dundar um, and promised to never let him go. O bu haberi özel haber olarak yapan kişi de öyle zannediyorum ki bunun bedelini ağır ödeyecek. Dündar, who survived an assassination attempt in May 2016, eventually escaped the country and received CPJ's International Press Freedom Award for his reporting. The case of John Dündar is emblematic of what has been happening to journalists and media outlets that have the audacity to explore sensitive subjects. A free democratic Turkey is being destroyed before the world's very eyes. Sadly, the future looks bleak for Turkish journalism. There isn't much of a press left uh, in Turkey. The mood on the ground uh, is that anybody can be arrested at any given time. Millions of people in Turkey uh, are feeling like hostages in their own country. <laughs>